Have you ever considered what actually makes you happy in life? I think this is a very important question to answer because so many people spend their whole lives trying to figure out the answer to this question. I'm on my honeymoon here in Greece. We went to Istanbul and then we went to Cappadocia in Turkey and Bodrum and now we are in Kefalonia right now actually and we had just come from Crete. We're gonna go to Zakynthos and then we're gonna go back home. It's basically like a three week, a little bit over three weeks and we've been in some extravagant and wonderful places. You know, the beach we went today was just amazing, just crystal clear water, uh, you know, crazy views. We saw some caves. It's just so much stuff that we've seen on this trip. And we've stayed in some pretty luxurious villas. I mean, the place that I'm staying in right here in Kefalonia, the Kefalonia Bay Palace, they gave us this upgraded suite that there's a pool over here. And, you know, it's just this, this amazing view you know, up on this hill. And, um, you know, and we flew first class. We did a lot of different things. And so it really got me thinking about how comparison is actually the theft of joy. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. And I want to break it down and really tell you how you actually can be happy and show you ways that you can't be happy. The things that are actually going to steal your happiness. And the biggest one of those is comparison. So uh, we flew over here on Air France in business class. And if you've never flown an international business class flight, it's an amazing experience, right? It was just so crazy. Like there, the seats that you, you sat in, they could turn down into beds. You know, they served you uh, dinner and food. You had your own basically entertainment center with remote and every nice thing that you can imagine. Plenty of room. I think this whole honeymoon cost around $43,000, but we did it for around three to $4,000 using points. And the thing about this though, about flying business class or first class, it's really interesting. I remember, you know, getting on the airplane and not all of our flights were first class, right? So some of them I booked first class or business class, other ones on some of the smaller flights I didn't. And when you get on a first class flight, okay, if you've ever flown first class or business class international, you feel like you are privileged and you deserve to be privileged, okay? But then, you know, you get on another flight, right? So for example, we got on an Air France flight. Now you feel like, oh, who are those first class people? Like they don't deserve to be in first class. Why did they get to go first? Why do they get to ride the bus first, right? You sort of, you know, go right to the opposite side of it. And it was really interesting because it made me realize just how much, again, comparison is the theft of joy. The same thing happened with hotels. Every single hotel that we stayed at, the first thing I did was I looked at the better rooms, right? What are, were the best rooms there? I remember checking in, for example, in, in Crete, right? We, we stayed at this really nice place in, in Crete. And so I said, okay, you know, can I get an upgrade when I get there? And you're supposed to get a room upgrade. And so I had already a nice room, but they gave me one upgrade, but I wanted the room with the pool, okay? Because I wanted the higher upgrade. Right? So I had to stop myself. I had to stop myself, but that was my initial thoughts, right? And so again, it's another example of the comparison being the theft of joy. We do this so many times in life and we don't even even realize this, you know, hotel manager sent me this email and said, you know, I hope you're enjoying your stay. How's everything going? If there's anything we can do for you. I sent back an email and I said, you know, the stay is great. It's, it's awesome. I said, but you know, if you have an upgraded room, I'd love to have, you know, it's our honeymoon and I'd love to have one of those, those pool rooms and, you know, that'd be great. And I have a, a pretty big Instagram account, YouTube account, and I'd be happy to share, you know, tag you in it, which, which I did. Okay. And so, they replied back or, or they called us and, and they gave us this upgrade room. So this was amazing, right? They're like, oh yeah, we'd love to have you stay in our best room. And you know, when you go into this room, it was crazy. I mean, it's the most awesome thing ever, right? You see the view, it's got a pool, a private pool. It's two stories, right? It's got an outdoor balcony. It's got all the stuff, right? And the thing about it is even though that's so fantastic, and even the place I'm staying here right now is so fantastic, the thing about it is that we hardly even used it, right? So the pool itself was cold, okay? It's freezing. Now, I'm not saying this to like complain about anything. It was, it's amazing, right? But what I'm saying is that like, we actually forced ourselves to get in the pool just because we had it. In fact, we did this floating breakfast, which was really cool as well. But I didn't really need a floating breakfast. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we did it just to do the experiences because we had the upgraded room, right? And there was so much of it, w w that two-story villa in Crete, for example, there was so much of it that we didn't use. The thing is, when you're comparing, okay, what you're comparing to is probably something that's not even as great when you actually have it. We end up ruining our happiness, right? Destroying our own happiness, comparing uh, the, the thing that we think is gonna be so great 
to what we have when what we have is sufficient or maybe that thing might be only slightly better. What feels the best about being upgraded or you know these fancy places or these things that we compare ourselves to is not actually the utilization of it. What it is, is it's feeling privileged. It's feeling better than other people. And a lot of times that's what we're seeking and that's what really we think brings us the joy, but it doesn't actually bring you a true joy. It's not real enjoyment that you're actually going to experience. Really where you're going and what you're doing during the day and the trip is more important than the actual hotel room that you're staying in. Now here's a big comparison that a lot of people make that really steals your joy. This is probably one of the worst ones that a lot of men and women make today, which is comparing to partner, okay? Especially, you know, you're on a trip, you're on a vacation, there's a lot of people around, you're on beaches and stuff like that. It's very easy to compare your partner. I don't feel the need to compare because I feel like the woman that I'm with, Nicole, you know, my wife, that she's amazing. She's the most beautiful woman that I have seen. But even if I don't feel the need to compare, she feels like I might be comparing and that steals her joy, right? And so that, that's interesting because she was saying to me today, she was like, oh yeah, there's all these beautiful people on the beach and, and things like that. And, and I was like, well, I, you know, I don't notice it because you're the most beautiful person on the beach to me. And I said, like, no, no, that's not really true. And it's like, no, I get it. Like I understand the perspective of, you know, in reality, does that seem like that's possible? But in my eyes, it is. Even if you're not doing it, right? If your partner feels like you could be doing it, it could steal their joy, right? And men and women do this a lot today in society. This is a lot of the reason why, uh, why we have such a hookup culture and people are on to the next, you know, with dating apps and swiping. Uh, you know, women can say, okay, well, there's another guy, there's a better guy coming along. It, it, some people are on that treadmill, that hedonistic treadmill, right? Forever, right? I, I used to tell guys that I coach, right? I used to coach game and, and pick up and things like that and take guys out to Vegas. And there'd be certain guys that would get stuck. Plus, here's the other thing about comparison when it comes to partners, right? What do you see that is not the reality, right? You look at Instagram, you see girls that are Photoshopped with perfect makeup and hair and perfect angles, right? And maybe you compare that to your girlfriend and then you say, oh, well, you know, uh, th this girl's better, but you didn't actually really see the real girl, right? What well, is perfectly posed and, and made up hair and, and, and makeup, or even when you're out, the same thing, you know, a lot of times when you go out, you know, girls are gonna dress up fancy. And a lot of guys, they will get distracted by that and tr start to compare it to their, their own partner and think that my girl's not as, as pretty or, or beautiful or, or whatever it is. And the reality is, is that you're just seeing another person at their best. It's such a actual real good principle is don't look at the things that you don't have, right? When you get a flight, when you get a hotel, when you go on a vacation. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a few travel tips and then I'm gonna wrap this video up by talking about you know, what is the actual solution to this or what is really important in your life. So the first one that I had was, I, I told you already that I, I booked this whole entire honeymoon for that's like $43,000 for about $3,000. How did I do this? Using credit card offers and points. So I've got a guy, his name is Trevor. He, you can contact him on Instagram at mile method or you can go to milemethod.com just use the code bulldog just to let him know that that i referred to then he'll book everything for you he gave me this whole itinerary i'll have to show you that booked everything for me so go check him out go support him i want to you know give him a plug because he, he did such a wonderful job for me the next thing i'll say as far as travel is pack a single backpack okay we ended up checking bags we actually lost one bag we did get it back but pack a single backpack that you can actually carry around and the reason why is because a lot of places in europe when you're traveling a lot of times when you're traveling, you're going to have to walk upstairs and you're going to have to go to places where you can't roll things. And you also, if you're making a lot of changes on, on airlines, trying to check bags and, and get bags from baggage claim, it just slows you down a lot. Plus, you can lose your bag. Ask your taxi or tour guide where to eat, maybe even offer uh, to take them out to dinner, right? The, the tour guide or taxis, and it's a good idea in a lot of cheaper places to hire a tour guide and a driver. It's so it's so cheap and economical, plus it makes the, the experience so much more interesting. We had this guy, tour guy uh, the tour guide in, uh, in Turkey, in Cappadocia, which I totally recommend him. I'll put his Instagram down below and, and you, can, you can check him out. But if you're going to Cappadocia, he gave us, he drove us around, he had a driver, and he gave us his history. He took us to all different places like a customized her for, it wasn't very expensive, to be honest with you. So go to smaller places to avoid uh, heavily touristy parts. Right, so I'm in Kefalonia here. This is a small Greek island. We're gonna go to Zakynthos next. Uh, it's awesome, like you can see, it's amazing. Went to the most amazing beach that I've ever seen in my life, most amazing cave. The food is great, the people are great. It's not busy and crazy. The prices aren't crazy. And then uh, water shoes are nice to have. I don't have them on right now. 
but <laughs> water shoes are great to have. So I want to end this video by, again, asking the question, what really makes you happy in life? And it's kind of funny, of all the people that had a good answer to this, I saw this clip from Dan Blazarian, and Dan was talking about how he's worth $350 million, and he's saying, like, you know, obviously he has the girls, he's had the place, you know, all the kind of things that money could buy. And, you know, he said, you get used to that, which makes sense. And then he's like, you know, what actually made me happy is really just going to the beach and I think he said surfing or whatever and hanging out with some friends. <laughs> and it's like, okay, this guy's worth $350 million. You've seen his Instagram and all, all of his stuff. Again, you know, it's really the simple stuff in life. And so why steal your happiness, right? For example, you could go on a vacation and every step of that vacation, you could be comparing. You could compare the hotels room you're staying in. You could compare the flights that you're taking. You could compare the other people that you see and be unhappy when you could have been perfectly happy just hanging out with friends at the beach, just having a good time instead of trying to present yourself in a certain way or trying to believe that you deserve something better or comparing what other people have to what you have. Now, if you do want a taste of the more extravagant life, which no, I don't blame you. You know, everyone wants it. Or at least if you want to have financial freedom so that you can go and travel like I do and, and do what you want to do, watch this video next on the three keys to financial freedom.